to Marpoon. Just to have a look up and around there. See what's going on. And to fill in a little bit of time. What I can do, it's hot. 30 degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very, very hot. About 85 k's north of here. Go and have a look. Out across the Mission River. Something like that anyway. It's pretty big. Mining is huge in this area. A massive network of roads and railway has been constructed to serve the mining operations. In 1955, a geologist named Henry Evans discovered that the red cliffs around Weeper were in fact huge deposits of bauxite, the ore from which aluminium and tungsten is made. In 1957, the Camalco Act was passed and Camalco, now Rio Tinto, was given some 4,000 square miles of Aboriginal reserve and mining commenced in 1960. Bauxite is found two to three metres below the topsoil. Mining is simple, vegetation is removed and scrapers remove the soil. Front end loaders then simply load the bauxite into dump trucks. At this stage, the ore is in the form of small red pebbles known as pezolites. The trucks carry the ore to a dump station, whereby it is transported by rail to the beneficiation plant, where impurities are removed, leaving a much higher grade product. The high grade ore is loaded onto ships at the port of Weeper by a network of conveyor belts loading many tonnes per hour. The process is continuous. A fully laden ship may leave the port for smelters in Gladstone, while another will take its place, destined for ports overseas. Let's have a crack at doing something different. Permanent foot camping on Mount Hume land. That definitely looks like an interesting track. What the hell? Let's do something different. Somewhere in here is the Wenlock River. I wouldn't mind having a look at that. Being such a famous river amongst four wheel drivers. Bush is closing in on me now, <laughs> finding the way through the jungle.
Wenlock River rises in the east on the Great Dividing Range and flows some 322 kilometres west across the Cape whereby it is fed by some 16 tributaries, eventually finding its way into the Gulf of Carpentaria, just north of Marbury. The Wenlock is classified as a wild river, free of dams and weirs. Wildlife is abundant. The river contains many salt and freshwater fish, some shared with the rivers of southern New Guinea, such as the freshwater sawfish. It is also home to one of Queensland's largest breeding populations of saltwater crocodiles. The sea eagle is king of the skies, and this one is clearly interested in this strange creature that has ventured into its territory. Cook may have been the first European to set foot on the east coast of mainland Australia, yet over 150 years earlier, in 1606, a Dutch sailor, William Jansoon, made landfall just north of the now township of Marpoon in his ship, the Dyfkin. Somewhere on the shores of Port Musgrove, on the Wenlock River, a skirmish broke out between the Dyfkin's crew and the Aboriginal people, whereby one Dutchman was speared to death. This was possibly the first contact between the Aboriginals and white Europeans. In 1891, at the request of the Presbyterian Church, a mission was established at Marpoon. By 1907, the mission was operating as a community for local people and continued to do so until the discovery of bauxite in the 1950s. As a consequence, on the 15th of November 1963, the residents of the mission were forcibly removed and transported some 200 kilometres north, near Bamiga, where the township of New Marpoon was established. To prevent the residents from returning to their homes, the houses were burnt to the ground. The police report for this incident has strangely disappeared. Marpoon became one of the places involved in the fight for Aboriginal land rights, and by the 1970s, seven families had moved back. In 1995, the Marpoon State School was opened and in 2000, the community was recognised under a deed of grant in trust arrangement with the Queensland Government. The population today is just under 500 and tourists like myself now come with their caravans and campers to enjoy being part of this extremely wild and remote area. Speaking of campsites, it's time to head back to mine for fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs>